welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. So December is here and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see friends. I'm excited to be with my family. I'm excited to give gifts to the people I love. I am welcoming to the kind energy that is going to be in the air from others because this is a time of year where there is a designated day where everybody has to start being a little bit kinder. Because this is the time of year where, where most people abide by the designated season of kindness. Although it should be like that every day. But yeah, I'm excited about the holidays. I didn't get to talk to you guys on Thanksgiving. But a funny thing about that, I've been filming the entire month of November. Yeah, the idea came to me to start doing monthly recaps of things that have happened to me. So, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends, I would like to welcome you to the, uh, the Nerd Zone, November 2022 vlog. I'll be here all night. No, but really, because it's like 12.45 in the morning right now. Anyway. Oh, November from this year. November was a really good month for the Nerd Zone. There was a lot of personal growth. There was a lot of inspiration. There, there were a lot of good vibes throughout the month. And I am very, I'm very grateful for that. And happy that I have this in my life. November was also... Shrimp month. Yeah, uh, I unintentionally booked the entire month of Nerd Zone Wrestling around wrestlers that I'd be simping real hard for. It was a very good, good, good month for Nerd Zone Wrestling. A lot of great matches, a lot of good conversation, and a happy me. I got to watch Carmelo Hayes for like four hours. Did the channel have to redeem the cool down button on me a few times? Yes. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Check out a few clips from this month's Nerd Zone Wrestling. Real, real, real quick, real quick. Finn, 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 Finn. Hey Finn, hey Finn, hey Finn. Let's get started. <laughs> so let me go ahead and give everybody their points. Kevin Owens, one. Let's see, who got points? Who got points? Who got points? Nobody thought this was happening. 100% of y'all voted on Sami Zayn. And 0% voted for Kevin Owens. Oh my goodness, nobody won points. I'm sorry, guys. Nobody gets to do sound alert or sound commands like these. Hey, friend, put your cock away. You look crazy. Oh, cat. Moving on. Oh, I'm excited. Oh! You are disgusting, sir. You are so disgusting. But we also love it. All right. Guys, so. Yeah, he's got a bottomless gas tank. We saw him. We saw him go a full 10 minutes for Brody King and take all of Brody King's punishment. Sorry to rush out without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble brewing. Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one, and that means disaster can't be far behind. I hate to leave y'all, but I gotta go look into it, huh? There's someone with a key, the key to our survival. So I need you and Goofy to find him. Aw, dang. We need that key or we're doomed. So go to Traverse Town and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. Uh -huh. hey, yes. would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Mickey. I want friendship. I'm afraid of being indecisive. And I want to broaden my horizons. If 
find me now on Match.com. Something else that I hadn't been doing leading up to November that I really made an effort to start to do last month was spend time with my friends. I have to admit, my ambitions in content creating, I have neglected being present as much as I used to. So I, I wanted to take some time to kind of to, or start to create a balance so that I, I also had time to see the people I love grow as I continue to grow on this journey of content creating. I got to spend time with one of my best friends, Simone, at a Sunday barbecue over a Dolphins football game. Take a look. <music> Watching those videos that was a fun afternoon something that also happened this month was the end of Tuesday night throwdown this one kind of stings we were put in a position where for myself and fairy's best interest to stop doing the AEW dark streams on Tuesday nights and uh, we decided that uh, Tuesday nights from now on will be me playing games by myself. And I'm gonna miss our Tuesday night hangouts where I got to hang out with one of my best friends that I met on Twitch. And we just talk shit and, and crack up and, and try and break each other over wrestling. I'm gonna miss those nights. I have so much to be grateful for from Tuesday Night Throwdowns. Those streams helped Fairy and I out so much. And and for those few months that we got to do those streams, it was just magic. If you were there during those few months and just were in our Tuesday sessions of hanging out and vibing, like those were magical times and I am I'm very happy about the content that we put out over those few months and then, but I also look forward to how Tuesday nights will be in the future, both for myself and for Fairy. I think Fairy is also streaming on Tuesdays too now. So yeah, go get my friend to follow. Support the Tuesday night throwdown, support the House of Aeons. But here are some of the best moments from Tuesday night throwdown in November. Lord. You and another ROH person. I feel like all the Dark Elevation have been, what the hell? <laughs> like, hey, you got your friend over here who was just like struggling to manage his emotions with his anger. And my man is just constantly over here, just doing a lot of this. To, 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 just the like, hip gyrations. And he's just like, well, I've tried everything and I'm all out of ideas. I don't know how to control I'm my gonna anger. <laughs> I'm just gonna chain on my Rick Rude and dribble these hips, baby! <laughs> oh, brain has done brain. No brain, just vibes from here on out. <laughs> when I die, I just want my tombstone to say, vibes. <laughs> Bunny housing. Hi, Trent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Shrimp activation. <laughs> Shrimp activate power. <laughs> Uh, 
I need y'all to pour a Baja Blast out for me, Fairy, and our Tuesday Night Throwdown and our bussies. Something else that I noticed started to emerge during the month of November and wanted to let the world know about was Dancing Manda. I don't know, things are just really good right now and I am just very grateful and just very happy with how everything is in my life right now and a lot of the time I just gotta dance not just sometime it's a lot of the time whether I'm in my car whether I'm at work whether I'm at the gym like it don't matter I'm gonna get the shimmy shake off okay I just wanted to put full caution to the wind out there that if you see me just in a good groove dancing don't don't run away I'm just channeling happiness through my hips talking about this event. I got to meet John Waters this month. Yes, my hero, my idol, my reason for existing, my inspiration, John freaking Waters. Nice girls don't wear cha-cha heels. Those are your new shoes, Dawn. Those aren't the right kind. I told you cha-cha heels, black ones. Nice girls don't wear cha-cha heels. Give me those presents. I don't need to wear those ugly shoes. Filter my politics. Filth is my life. For some of your political beliefs. Kill everyone now. Condone first degree murder. Advocate cannibalism. Eat shit. Filter my politics. Filth is my life. John Waters. Uh, he was doing a book signing in Miami for the book Miami Book Fair. Uh, for his book, Liar Mouth, that came out earlier this year, and my friend Steve gifted me an early Christmas present with a ticket to see John Waters speak about his new book, sign his new book, and a meet and greet. And so yeah, here, here's some footage. <laughs> Man, to play the footage. cry from thinking about that day easily easily one of the greatest days of my life I I got to tell John Waters about watching his movies with Allison when we were teenagers I got to show him I got to show him my divine from female trouble tattoo 
and uh, yeah, I I just got to I got to be in his presence, and I. Anybody who knows me knows that John Waters is such a freaking huge part of my life. I was a weird kid. I was uh, I was chaotic as heck, and, and a little bit of a wild card. The heroes and the protagonists in John Waters movies are heroes that I identify with, and. I very much feel like Don Davenport a lot of the time. <laughs> no, I I have a I have a thirst and a need for bad taste that I find makes the world more beautiful because I see the art in it. And nobody is gonna tell me otherwise. And John Waters understands that, preaches that, and takes me to his church every day. I just can't believe it happened. I'm so happy so thank you steve that was really an amazing gift to give someone i can't state how grateful i am for that gift also november was the month of new friendships i actually had my first guest on nerd zone wrestling in november and it was my friend tane graves from the band tightwire and and y'all know if y'all are in my streams y'all know if there are three things i'm gonna do in my stream as dance Play Tina Marie's Square Business and play some tight wire. And Tane was Tane was awesome enough to come by, to drop by and hang out on the Bray Wyatt stream this month. And it just so happens I had to be on my best behavior that day because I did not want him to see me simping over Bray Wyatt in the inappropriate way that I would. But ultimately I had a great time and I hope Tane enjoyed themselves and the conversation was great and I'm glad I could have friends hang out on stream with me. There's an artist that I follow and I bought one of her works, but she does like um, BIPOC versions of Sailor Moon characters. It's so fucking badass. Here, I got this one. Oh, I know them. I follow Dude. their Instagram. Um, yeah, Debbie, I think it's Debbie Cunts. <laughs> K K U N T Z, but um, I bought this. She has like a she had a shop, and I um, I think somewhere in Michigan, or at least they the the shop particularly was carrying her work, and that's where I found her. Is like I was on tour with Teenage Bottle Rocket, and we were playing a show at like this art shop, and I was like, oh my god, I need this. And since then, I just like follow her all of her work on her Instagram and stuff. It's so rad. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, yeah. It's always a pleasure talking BIPOC Sailor Moon art. Thanks for that, Tane. And if y'all aren't following Tightwire, uh, what the heck are you doing? Go do that shit now. <laughs> yeah, go support my friends. And thank you, Tane, for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. November, I entered my fourth month of hosting the Nerd Zone Game Nights at Underground's Coffee House. And oh my gosh, guys, the turnout was super awesome. I wish I would have filmed it when more people were in there, but <laughs> but I was I was wearing um, I was wearing many hats that night and could only film so much. But for those of you who are unfamiliar with what Nerd Zone Game Night is, if you are in the Fort Lauderdale area by the Culture Room, there is a coffee shop there called Underground's Coffee House. It is a Fort Lauderdale staple. And every third Sunday of the month, I host a community game night and I bring my Nintendo Switch. I also have a second television set up so that we can all watch movies if you don't feel like playing games or if all the games are taken. I have board games. I've got Sorry, Clue, Clueless. Clueless makes a board game. Did you know Clueless makes a board game? I didn't know Clueless makes a board game. Clueless makes a freaking board game. But it's a great time. Take a look.
what's crazy is I wrote in my bullet journal back in 2017 that one day I would have movie screenings in Underground's Coffee House because I was a I would go there almost every day and here we are in 2022 and I have done it and that is just super I I can't express how amazing that feels it might sound like a silly dream to some and it might sound like a small dream to some but it was my dream and in the end it, it's it's granted me happiness so I can't you can, I can't argue that so yes thank you for everyone who came out last month and I hope to see you this month on December 18th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Underground's Poppy House Nerds on Game Night I have no catchphrase just come by I guess you can't talk about November without mentioning Thanksgiving. Hi. So today is Thanksgiving and that's pretty exciting. I hope you all are celebrating with your families today and your friends or whoever you celebrate the holiday with and <clears throat> you're having a good day. It's been a good day for me, honestly. I've done nothing except for clean out my mods folder for my sims. I've been CC shopping since 11 o'clock this morning. It is about to be 7 o'clock now and I'm about to eat my Thanksgiving dinner and watch some Abbott Elementary and then I'm going to watch X and then I am going to show I I'm going to go ahead and work on the next couple of episodes of Road to Fame. And honestly, I, I think <laughs> I think I might start a second Sim series too. <laughs> I was I was playing around with my Sims today and I was playing with and I was playing with one of my Sims that I created a long time ago and I just fell so in love with her that I was like I need to make a series of her and exclusively her. So I think I'm gonna do that tonight. <laughs> But before I eat and go back to working on Sims videos, I just wanted to just say a couple of things that I'm thankful for because I have a lot to be thankful for this year. As always, I'm, I'm very thankful for my friends. They do a lot for me because I, I know I can sometimes not be the easiest to deal with. I know that I can be a little overwhelming sometimes and I am very grateful and thankful for the friends that I do have in my life that have seen me go through some very rough times and still love me, still understand me, and are still patient with me. And I'm very thankful that you guys are in my life and care enough to want to see me safe and doing well. And I'm, I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful for your laughs. I'm thankful for your energy. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm so, I'm so, 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 so thankful for the nerd zone and everything that it's become this year. Like, I started streaming on Twitch with a PlayStation camera and my PS4 playing The Sims and fast forward to today, a few months over a year later, and I've just met some awesome people and your your gifts, like I've had people send gifts to me, I've had people send me letters and I don't want to cry again, <laughs> but uh, it's it's so, I'm finally in a place in my life where I feel like I belong. I'm very thankful for that. I really am. I'm thankful for our Tuesday night hangouts. I'm thankful for our Saturday Nerd Zone tape study sessions. I'm thankful for our Thursday night movies in the Discord. I'm, our Saturday community game days. I'm so thankful for all of it. It feels amazing. It, it feels amazing. Like, it really does. And I, I just, I wanted to put that out there. I wanted to say thank you. And, uh, yeah. You, you guys don't know how much you mean. And I'm very thankful that these last few years of my life, being sober, have granted me the opportunity to see things and exist in the present again. Uh, which is really cool. I get to see all the beautiful things about the people I love and they amaze me every day. I'm just so happy and I'm so thankful I get to be in the present for it now. 
All right, I'm not here to sit and, and cry on Thanksgiving for the rest of the night. I'm not here to get emotional or anything like that. I'm here to have a good day. I don't feel like doing any more happy crying. I've been happy crying all week. Uh, I'm ready to eat. So I, I hope y'all got your plates. I hope you got your peas, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, yams, lambs, hog, mog, all that. And I, I hope y'all, you know what? Share pics of your plates. Send me pics of your plates. Tweet me pics of your plates. Let me see. But I'm ready to go eat. I'm going to get out of here and enjoy some Abbott Elementary. And I'm going to watch X and I'm going to work on Sims videos. Guys, happy Thanksgiving. I love you so much. And let's go eat. Bye. I said it enough there in that Thanksgiving video and I got really emotional re-watching that when I was editing it and cried again <laughs> but in all sincerity and in, in all complete realness this has become a really cool life and since my life is so cool, I uh, linked up with Simone again so that we could take both of our babies, our dogs, on a play date. I, <laughs> I love taking Daisy on play dates because Daisy is such a apathetic dog. <laughs> and I'll just sit there and watch these dogs like try and play with her and don't get me wrong, Daisy's not mean. Daisy doesn't have a mean bone in her body, but she is very much into having her own space and just relaxing by herself in her own company or with humans. She, <laughs> she's, she's very indifferent to other dogs. And so I just, <laughs> I like watching her reaction of just, I don't know what these dogs are doing over here, but I'm gonna mind my business over there. <laughs> but, but she also likes to be outside and enjoy nature. So we went for, we went to the park. Bubba's play. I'm glad my little niece Sola got to meet her cousin Daisy and uh, I can't wait for them to play again. All right and then the last thing that I did this month I got to check out a comic book store that I had never seen before. Yeah I got to spend the afternoon at CJ's Comics and it was a real good time. They had a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> I am going back there for that Chucky doll and that Ron Burgundy action figure. Let me tell you, that about does it. That was my November and I had a lot of fun filming this and hopefully we'll be able to do more of these. But I wanna thank you for taking your time out of your day to hang out with me and hear about my month. If you want to be a part of the Nerd Zone and hang out in the streams and, and get real time updates in the Discord, 
then go ahead and click one of those links below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video if you can, give Tightwire a follow, give Steve a follow over at Mesa Media, go watch a John Waters movie, if I might recommend one, Female Trouble. Oh, and you know, listen to punk rock and watch a horror movie. Until next time, take care of yourselves, each other, and I'll see you later. Bye! Thank you.